Hello and welcome to Just Vintage Crochet and we're going to get into another mystery pattern. If you're new to the channel, I have here a stack of patterns ranging from the 1840s to the 1960s or 70s. Um, I don't pick out any of these patterns. My little assistant son, my helper son, picks all these patterns out. He blacks them out, uh, blacks them out, he blacks out portions that could possibly give away what the pattern is. We have no context. We only have the words of the pattern. We won't know what it is until it's done. Some of these patterns do have photos, some do not, um, but they all have a title and we will figure out what they are. We will pick a number, work the pattern that matches the number, and then we will see what it winds up being in the end. Okay, let's pick our number. Give him a good shuffle. Now, the other day, while Larry and I were out, Justin, Justin replenished our patterns here. So you might notice some new ones. He has, he has been busy for me. Okay, let's just get to pattern picking. What do we got? Not yet. Okay, got to pick another one. What do we have? Number seven. Number seven? Okay. It's three, nine. That's number two. 22 and 23. Oh, what is this? Number three, uh-oh, we may have to, we may have to repick. We had one that was apparently popped out onto the thing. Okay, I'll leave the not yet one out. All right, we gotta do this again. Sorry, guys. Make sure nothing pops out this time. Okay. Wouldn't that be great if we got number seven again? No, we got number 24. Oh, we're going to go a completely different route. There's 23 and 22. Those are little bitty patterns. Five, three, nine, 16. Number two. Number one. Well, there's our number seven. Well, where's number 20? Where is number 24? How weird. Three, nine, 16, two, let's see here, we have 22 and 23, one and seven. Okay, we found it. So here's what happened. I went down the hallway and I asked Justin, did I already work number 24? Because I don't remember ever working a number 24. So I came back in here and he went to go look through the folder of photos that he has and it turns out he left this with the original pattern not original original but the pattern that i originally received from our very first happy mail so it was in a plastic sleeve and, and it was a pattern somebody had sent me in my very first happy mail video and he scanned it so that he could cut it up and mark it up without ruining the one someone sent and he just simply slipped it back into the sleeve for some reason. <laughs> so we have it. So this one here comes from a viewer. Isn't that fun? And it is apparently a 1946 pattern. So let's see what we need. He's blacked out quite a bit from the start. I imagine that probably gave away quite a bit of it. Let's look at the last row. Join around and break off. Okay, looks like we're gonna be making some clusters. We need knit crochet, which is, it's just crochet cotton number 10, and then a crochet hook number seven. So let me get that real quick and I will be right back. Should I use the brown again? I, other people have sent things too. Um, I'll be right back. Let me just think on it for a minute. This time, I might use this one. This one, someone sent us a couple of happy mails ago, and I find it to be a very unique uh, thread, as I've never had a thread that was made in Brazil before. It's 100% mercerized Brazilian virgin cotton, 
and it is made in Brazil. Isn't that interesting? I've never had anything made from Brazil before. Whenever I look at it, it doesn't seem to have any kind of a hard center. It's just solid. It is a number one fingering. I think it's a number five. I would say it's probably about a size number five. So it's a little bit bigger than a number 10, but not much. Um, they call for a 1.75 millimeter. So that's what I will use. And again, a, a number seven is a 1.65 millimeter. So this isn't much bigger. Nothing about this will be much, much bigger. But I really wanted to get, get some, play around with this. I got to open it. Hang on. Okay, that is very soft. I love that. And it says right here that it comes with a free pattern. So if you guys want to hold your phones up to the screen, you just go into your camera mode. And then while you're on camera mode, just hold your camera up to the screen and capture this square right here. And it should give you a free pattern. Okay. You might have to click a little button on your screen, but this should give you a free pattern. I'll hold it real still. Okay, let's see what we have here. Okay, I wonder if this could be like a center pull. It probably can. I can't see why not. I can't grab a hold of anything in there, though. It's very tightly packed. This came from Amazon, by the way, if you guys are interested. Yeah, it can be center pulled. Look at that. Very easily, too. It really doesn't play too much tug of war, just a little bit. So here we go. That feels interesting. And there you go. Okay, and here is my 1.75 millimeter hook. And that's what, how big the size is. Let's see here. Yeah, that's gonna work out just fine. All right, let's get into the pattern already, darn it. Here we go. Starting at center. So I guess we will be working in the rounds. And look at this figure here. This looks like a popcorn stitch to me. So we may be working with some, that may be what the clusters are. No, three double crochet cluster, Never mind. Looks like a popcorn stitch to me though. Do they talk about popcorn? Not that I can see, but that's a popcorn stitch if I ever saw one. Okay, starting at center, chain 10 and join with a slip stitch. One, two, three, eight, nine, ten. This cotton feels very nice in the hands. Okay, join with a slip stitch. So joining into the first. There we go. I always just chain one to lock it in. I don't know if we're supposed to do that yet. Okay, first round chain three to count as double crochet. So this is going to be a US pattern. Make a PC, Pico, popcorn, popcorn, popcorn. Make a popcorn stitch in the ring. To make a popcorn stitch, chain one. Yep, make five double crochet in the ring. Drop the loop from the hook, insert the hook in the chain one of the preceding five double crochet and draw a drop loop through. Make a double crochet in the ring, repeat from, from where? It just says repeat from until eight popcorn stitches are made. Join to top of chain three. It doesn't, it's okay, we have an asterisk here. I don't think it's covered up here, maybe it is. No, because that's starting at center. Don't be dumb, Karina. We don't have another asterisk, so it's an error. It's okay. We're allowed to make errors in this life. All right. So it says here to chain three. I already have one chain, two, and three. Now we are to make a popcorn stitch, so four more double crochet. One, two, three, and four. We go into the top of this chain three, grab that loop, there we go, and pull it through, and that makes a popcorn, just like that. Now it says, does it say to chain one? 
Make a double crochet in the ring. So it doesn't say to chain one, but let's look at the figure here. There is a chain one. So make a popcorn stitch, chain one. Oh, it does say to chain one. Okay. Chain one. Now we make, make a double crochet. And then we make a popcorn stitch. So one, two, three, four, and five. Come over here, skip that double crochet. This is the first of our five right here. Pull it on through, scooch everything over a little bit. Chain one, make a double crochet. Now we also make five more double crochet for the popcorn. Two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Chain one and work a double crochet followed by a popcorn. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and work the rest of these off camera. I'll see you in just a minute. Okay, I now have eight popcorns all the way around and I finished by working one double crochet after I made the last popcorn. So now it says, join to the top of chain three. Well, the top of my chain three is a popcorn. I mean, the top of my chain three is the popcorn. So, yeah, I don't join to the top of chain three. I don't know. This feels like, this kind of Join to the top of chain three. It kind of seems like somebody retyped the original pattern out in like modern terms. That's what it's kind of feeling like a little bit. I'm going to try to join into the top of my popcorn if I can locate what it looks like. I can tell what it feels like. Well, hell, I'm just going to join right here. No, I don't want to be off to the side. That's my struggle right now. What is the top of this popcorn? Nope, that's like way deep down inside that stitch. Okay, I'm going to call that done. I'm going to call that good enough. Okay. Second round, chain three to count as one double crochet. Holding back on the hook the last loop of the next two double crochet, make two double crochet in the same place as slip stitch. Thread over and draw through all loops on hook. A three double crochet cluster made. Chain three, holding back on the hook of the last loop of the next three double crochet, make three double crochet in the same place as last, as same place as last cluster. Thread over, draw through all loops on the hook, another three double crochet cluster made. Chain 21. Okay. Uh, so is, so let me, first of all, let me get you down here a little more so I don't work off camera. Okay, um, so chain three to count as first double crochet. Holding back on the hook, the last two of the next double, of the next two double crochet, make two double crochet in the same place as slip stitch. One, two, draw through. Okay, chain three. 
Maybe this is for like a corner or something. And then make three more double crochet into the same place. Seems like it might be a corner. One. Two. And then one more. Three. There we go. Now it says, same cluster, thread over and draw through all loops on the hook. Okay, we got that. Now we have to chain 21 and skip the next popcorn stitch. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. Skip the next popcorn stitch and work three double crochet, chain two. Okay, where? Chain 21, skip the next popcorn stitch. Work three double crochet into the next double crochet. Okay. The next double crochet is right here. One. Two and three. Okay. Chain two. One, two. Skip the next popcorn stitch. And next double crochet, make a cluster, chain three, and a cluster. Repeat from, again, there's no asterisk. Okay, repeat from, nowhere, <laughs> I'm being a smart ass, sorry. Um, around, join last chain two to top of cluster. So what, chain two? So we're going to end with a chain two. So I don't mean to be a smart ass, but there is no, there is no um, other asterisk here where it says to repeat from. Wonder how many more times that is. Well, okay, they're there and they're there. So it was just a little error and I'm being kind of a smart ass about it. <laughs> forgive, forgive. Okay, so as I'm looking at this, it might be kind of important to know where that asterisk is because I need to know where to work these chain 21s. Okay, chain 21. Yeah. Repeat from, it would know if, if I need to make the chain 21s again at all. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Um, all right, I, I know that for now it says to skip the next popcorn stitch. So it says to skip the next popcorn stitch and in the next double crochet, make a cluster, chain three and a cluster. So one, two, three, chain three, then into the same stitch, one, two, and three. That's annoying. Okay. So now my question is, do I make a chain 21 here? Maybe. I mean, I suppose I can figure it out just by counting and doing the math. Repeat from, I don't know. Let's see if I made a chain 21 here and copied this. Chain 21, did I do this right? I made a cluster, 
no, I didn't do these. Yeah, three double crochet. I did that right. So maybe I do chain 21 here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and twenty-one. Skip the next popcorn stitch. Three double crochet into the next stitch, into the next double crochet over, which is right here. Okay, one, two. three, chain two, skip the next popcorn stitch, and then work a cluster, chain three and cluster. One, two. So my guess is after, after making every cluster, you work your chain 21. One, two, three. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of this off camera, two and three. Now from this, oh, I wasn't making clusters. I was completing those double crochet. I gotta get my head in the game. One, two and three. Okay, so now at this point I would chain 21 and then repeat this. You chain 21, you skip a popcorn, and then the next double crochet over, work three double crochet. Chain two, work your cluster repeat, and then chain 21 again. And then we're gonna end with the chain two and slip stitch. So I will be right back. Okay, so let's finish this one together. I've already chained two, I've already worked my last three double crochet. Chain two, now it says to join into the top of the starting chain three with a slip stitch. There we go. And here is what we have. There we go. Okay, third round, slip stitch in next space. Chain three to count as double crochet. In same space, make a cluster. Chain three and cluster. Okay, so let's slip stitch our way over there. So top of the cluster, and then into the chain space. Now it wants us to work a cluster stitch, or a cluster. So chain three, one, two, pull through all, chain three, and repeat. One, two, and three. These chain 21s are in the way just a little bit. There we go. Okay, so now that's all done. A cluster over a cluster. Okay, now it says two chains, two double crochet in the next space. Double crochet in next three double crochet. Okay. Wait a minute, in this space? into the chain 21 space? Why? Chain three, okay, we did all that. Chain two, and then two double crochet in the next space, double crochet in the next three double crochet. Um, I have these chain 21s. Did they make a mistake here and this was supposed to be chain two? 
I think this is, I think somebody took a vintage pattern and retyped it out themselves and made, I mean, if I'm going to be honest, quite a few errors. You know, no judgment. I make errors all the time. Like half my videos are errors. Almost all of my mystery videos are errors. So I'm not judging. Um, it does make it a little... So clearly the chain 21s were supposed to be chain twos. God, I should rewrite this pattern myself. <laughs> so starting back at uh, round two, we made our first cluster. In fact, now knowing how it ends, I'm going to rethink my sl my joining slip stitch at this point. So I am going to slip stitch right here into the second chain, just because I know we're meant to work between them. Okay, one, two, three. Make my first cluster repeat right here. One. And no, I don't think the viewer who sent this typed this up herself because this came from um, a free pattern website, I believe. I do believe it came from, I remember my first Happy Mail and I do believe I got a bunch of patterns from someone that were in, so thoughtfully put into plastic slips. And I think this might be one of them. So she would not have had any idea that this pattern was like that. Um, whoever published this pattern on that website, whoever retyped it really made a lot of errors. Unless they had like an AI retype it, because AI makes errors. And that may be what it is, because people try to get away with doing absolutely nothing for everything these days. You know, they all want something for nothing. Have you guys noticed the crazy content coming out on YouTube lately? I have a feeling YouTube is going to revise their monetization policy whenever it comes to AI content farming channels because that's what we're getting a lot now is channels you know you'll click on a video it's supposed to be by the way i'm going to chain two now instead of chaining 21 and i'm right here into this double crochet i'm going to work the three double crochet one two and three chain two and repeat the cluster uh, repeat the cluster repeat. <laughs> so one, two, three. I got a little off track, but I'm going to get back to my point. One, nope. I feel like I didn't do that quite right. One and two. Maybe I did. Okay. One, two, three. So anyways, um, yeah, I've been noticing a lot lately, like I like to watch a lot of history and stuff like that. And so it'll be like a history of, you know, Hollywood screen sirens from the 1920s. And it's this strange automated voice that really can't pronounce names, places and all of that correctly. It pronounces it like a robot. And it's just it's just a slideshow of pictures that somebody took off the internet, compiled it into a 20 minute video with an AI reading a script that probably AI wrote and they're monetizing it, you know? And I think it, it is what it is, but it, and maybe that's what, that's what this website did is that they just simply entered or scanned the original thing the original pattern, and told AI, can you retype this out in modern crochet terminology? And this is what the AI came up with. That's what it feels like happened. Okay, I made my cluster repeat. Now I chain two. I already had one. There's my second chain. And then right here, I work the three double crochet. One, two, and three. Chain two, repeat the cluster over here so okay one two and three and this is me just now realizing yeah I messed up on this first stitch I did a full double crochet whenever I did this cluster that's what that's what I get whenever I'm too busy talking and not working two three 
So yes, I'm aware that I messed up on that first portion of that cluster repeat. It's there now. That's my maker's mark. <laughs> Chain two and into the double crochet, work three doubles. One, two, and three. Okay, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna finish this off camera. I will be right back. This seems correct now. <laughs> I should rewrite it myself. Okay, here we go. Let's finish this round together. I've worked my last chain two. Now I'm gonna slip stitch into the top of the starting chain three here of the cluster. Do I wanna, in the chain three? I mean, I don't trust that. I don't trust that at all. So not the chain three. I'm going to go into the top of the cluster. Okay. There we go. That looks like it makes more sense now. <laughs> all right. Okay, here we go. Slip stitch into the next space. Chain three to count as double crochet in same space. Make cluster, chain three, cluster. Okay, let's slip stitch over. Well, you just slip stitch right in. There we go. Chain three, work a cluster. One and two, chain three, and work one more cluster. One, two, and three. Okay, now chain two and two double crochet into the next space. Chain two and two double crochet into the next space. One, two, Double crochet in the next three double crochet. One, two, and three. Two double crochet into the next space. One, and two, chain two. And then we work the cluster, chain three, cluster, and repeat all around. Okay, seems very simple enough. Why do I keep doing that? Okay, we work our next cluster. One, two, let me get this out of your way so you can see. And three. Here we go, chain three. And then one more time, one, two, and three. Pull through all, chain two. Uh, you need to behave, thread, behave. Okay, into the space, we work two double crochet, one, two over the next three double crochet we work one double crochet into each one two and three and then two into the chain space one and two then we simply chain two and work the cluster chain three cluster corner so i will be right back i'm going to work the rest of this off camera let's finish this round off together chain two after we worked our like what is that three four five six seven double crochet in a row one two three four five six seven yes yeah, seven in a row chain two and then slip stitch into the top of the slip stitch into the top of the cluster okay Round four, slip stitch into the next space, chain three, make a cluster, chain three, cluster. Okay, slip stitch, chain three, 
make the cluster one. You know what? I don't think we should be chaining three. I think we should be chaining two. One, two, and three. Yeah, doesn't that look like it makes more sense? Look at that. It looks like it makes more sense now. See, these are big. These are not so big. Now it'll match. So I would say instead of chaining three, just chain two. One, two, and three. Look at that. It matches now. Okay. Okay. Chain two, two double crochet into the next space double crochet into the next seven, two double crochet into the next. So it's gonna be exactly how we worked the last row, except for we have more double crochets to work between the corners now. So very easy, chain two, two into the space, one, two, one over the top of the next seven double crochet. You'll wanna pull one of these aside to get access to that first double crochet right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and then two into the space, one, two, chain two, and work your cluster chain three cluster corner. So this is the repeat all the way around. I will be right back. You might hear a little bit of background noise. Justin's working some magic in the kitchen right now. So I went ahead and chained two and I slip stitched into the top of our starting cluster. Okay, round five. We're going to slip stitch into the space. I'm going to chain two to count as our first double crochet for our cluster. I'm just going to say chain two from now on. You know what, guys? I think what I'm going to do is uh, do some rewrites, and I might make this available on Etsy if you guys want it. And if you want to know what my prediction is, I'm sure you guys have already jumped down into the comments and made predictions. I think we are making a bedspread. I think these are squares for a bedspread, which leads me to say you can make this in any size cotton or acrylic you want it don't have to be little I think we're making a bedspread we've done these kind of patterns on here before like this okay okay work the cluster chain two two double crochet in the next space double crochet in the next five we're going to start working popcorns again okay so let's slip stitch our way over here make the cluster of course I'm just going to chain two two and three. Oh, there you go. Then chain three and another cluster. One, two, and three. This has got to be torture for Justin. I can hear him in the kitchen trying to be so super quiet right now. <laughs> ah, there goes the microwave. <laughs> That's what magic sounds like in a kitchen. Okay, two double crochet into the chain space. One and two. Now it said to work one double crochet over the next five double crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. Work a popcorn stitch into the next stitch one two three four and five and you know you can substitute these popcorns with any old kind of a raised textured stitch that you like you can make these patterns your own really would you would you look at what i did oh let's see what that would look like just out of curiosity i mean i'm already there let's just see what Let's just see what a cluster stitch would look like there. Not quite so prominent. Nope, not a fan. All right, do this the right way. I'll be right back. I'm gonna do this the right way. Okay, worked my five completed double crochet. 
remove the hook one two three four five there we go and pull it on through chain one and work the next five double and then two double into the chain space and this is the repeat all around you're going to work your cluster chain three and cluster into the corner as usual okay one two three hey i only have four let's see here what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Is that the right? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Let's see here. It says double crochet in the next five. Pico in the next double. Double crochet in the next five. I don't have five. Maybe I did this part wrong. One, two, three, four, five. Nope. No, I did that part right. Hmm. Oh, oh, I see what I did wrong. Okay, I see. My popcorn was hiding my first stitch. So I guess lesson learned there. Move your popcorn out of the way so that you can get your very first stitch right here. One. Two. Three four and five. Okay, now we work our two doubles into the chain space. One and two. Chain two and work your cluster corner and then just repeat all the way around. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this off camera and I will be right back. This is looking really neat actually. Okay, finished off this row. I just simply chain two and slip stitched into the top of my first cluster stitch there. Now it says we are to slip stitch into the next space and we're going to work our cluster stuff here. I guess that's going to be the same for every round. So let's get that part out of the way. Here we go. Slip stitch over. Work the cluster. I'll be right back. I'm going to work my cluster corners really quick or corner really quick. Okay, all done with that. Let's see, what do we do next? In the same space, cluster, chain three, cluster, chain two, two double crochet in the space, double crochet in the next, wait. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this is round six. Okay, five double crochet, pico stitch in next double crochet, double crochet next, double crochet in back of next pico and in following double crochet double crochet in the next five. So we're, okay, let's just follow this step by step. So we're gonna work chain two and two double into the space. One, two. Okay, two double crochet into the space, double crochet into the next five double crochet. So here we go one, two, three, four, and five. Now it says to work a popcorn in the next. So I'm gonna work a popcorn really quick off camera. I'll be right back. My popcorn and a chained one. Okay, popcorn in next double, double crochet in next double. Okay. Double crochet in back of next popcorn stitch and following double crochet. So right here. Okay. Popcorn stitch. Oh, and in following double crochet. Okay, okay and then a popcorn stitch into the next. So I will, work, I will work this off camera, I will be right back. Worked my popcorn and chained one. Okay, popcorn stitch, double crochet in the next five, two double crochet in the space, chain two, and then in the corner work our cluster, chain three cluster, and then repeat from there. Okay, so we see what the repeat is. So I'm gonna work the rest off camera, but pretty easy. So you're gonna work your two double crochet into the space, five over the next five doubles, popcorn, 
Then work a double crochet in the next stitch over, a double crochet in the top of the popcorn or in the back of it, and then a popcorn in the next stitch after the popcorn, and then another popcorn and repeat. So I will be right back. Okay, so that's it for round six. We now have three popcorns. So I haven't even looked at the pattern, but I already know it's gonna start off with slip stitch and then work our cluster repeat. I just have a feeling this is the way it's gonna be worked for the rest of the pattern. Just got a sneaking suspicion. <laughs> okay, am I right? And yes. Okay, chain two, two double crochet in the next space, double crochet in the next five, a popcorn stitch in the next double, double in the next, double in the back of the popcorn, and in the following double, popcorn in the next, twice double crochet in the next five, two in the next, and then repeat. So, okay, my guess is we're gonna make three popcorns now. Like I can see where everything is progressing, as I'm sure you guys can too. So two double crochet into the space, one double crochet into the next five stitches, one, two, three, four, and five. <clears throat> okay, popcorn into the next stitch. I'll be right back, I'll work that off camera. Okay, then like we did down here, we're gonna work a double into the next stitch, a double behind the popcorn, which I just go right onto the chain one right here that looks like a stitch. That's where I've been working mine. And then a double right next to it, and then another popcorn. I guess I can make this one with you guys. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, five. chain one, we'll work a double into the next double, one behind the popcorn, right there is where I've been working it, one into the next double over, and then another popcorn. I'll be right back. Okay, worked my popcorn, chained one, and now work one double into the next five, one, two, three, four, and five. Two doubles into the space, and then we work our cluster corner. So this is the repeat, chain two, of course. So this is going to be the repeat all around. There we go. So I will be right back whenever I get back around to the beginning. Okay, finished round seven, and I went ahead and started the corner as we have been. So, round eight, I, I don't even have to look, but yeah, it's gonna be the same. Okay, now we're gonna chain two, two double in the space, double crochet in the next five, pico stitch, double, double, double in the back of the pico, double, I didn't mean to say pico, sorry. Popcorn stitch, popcorn stitch, okay. Then do this three times. So we're gonna be working, I think five then? One, two, three, four. Okay, we're gonna work four. So just like we did before, except for we're gonna work one, two, three, and then four popcorns, exactly as we did before. So let's chain two, two double into the space. Five double into the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. 
work a popcorn into the next stitch, popcorn made, chain one, then work a double into the next double, a double behind the popcorn, a double into the next double, and then work another popcorn into the next stitch over. And then again, we work, so there's the popcorn plus chain one, and we work a double in the double, and a double behind the popcorn. Double in the double, and then make another popcorn. Then repeat again. Make your popcorn, double, 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 and then your last popcorn here, work five double crochet, chain two, and work the corner as we have been. So that's gonna be the repeat all around. I will be right back for our last round, I think. Yeah, our last round. I'll be right back. Okay, this is round eight all done. I've already begun round nine as it's no different than how we've been starting. So let's look at round nine, our last round. And chain two, two double in the space, double crochet in the next five, double popcorn in the next. And it looks like much of the same four times. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, and five five popcorns across the top now. So everything is gonna be exactly the same that we've been doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and work this off camera since at this point you don't need to see me work the stitches and I will be back when I'm done and we are ready to Scooby-Doo this thing and unmask this fiend. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, here it is and yeah, it's definitely gonna be a bedspread square, so let's uh i gotta go get justin again <laughs> i gotta go get justin again so that he can give me the reveal photos and all that i'll be right back okay so here it's called popcorn bed spread here is the reveal photo and yeah nailed it again that's three in a row that's three in a row okay and then here's the original pattern that was sent by a viewer and it comes from some website. I'm not sure which website, but I would dare to guess it's probably um, VintageCrochetPatterns.com. I would say you can check that website out, but just bear in mind that a lot of the patterns, if not most of them, have been re rewritten in a way that's not entirely accurate a lot of times. That's why I stopped using that website a while back. But anyways, here's the original pattern, and what do you guys think? You can make this with any size cotton. Like, you don't have to make little squares forever and ever and ever and sew them together. You can make big squares like this and sew them all together and make a big blanket real fast. You know, use like a nice thick cotton. I really like it. So if you are interested in this pattern, I will go ahead and make it available. I'm going to go ahead and work some edits. Like I'm going to keep a lot of the original. I'm going to work edits where edits need to be. I'm also, I think I'm going to go ahead and list what the stitch terms are and, um, you know, what the size hooks are and everything. So I really like it. I think it's neat. Make it in a bigger, thicker cotton. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, guys, well, I'm pretty happy with this one. It is another phenomenal success, in my opinion. I like it, and I liked this. And so thank you very much for sending this my way. And of course, thank you very much for sending this my way as well. Both were a lot of fun that we all got a lot of enjoyment out of. I will see you guys in the next mystery. Bye.